Have you ever wondered why you're such a negative Nancy all the time? Well, it might be for the same reason that nobody is talking about Eugenia Cooney. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel's all about mental health, and sometimes what I like to do is take different topics going on in the YouTube community, see what we can learn from them to improve our own mental and emotional well-being. Whether it's somebody's successes or their mistakes, there is always something to learn that we can take and improve our own lives from. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And if you're not yet, follow me over on Instagram and Twitter at The Rewired Soul, especially Instagram. I've been doing a bunch of stuff over there, so make sure you go check it out. All right, so anyways, let's talk about Eugenia Cooney. Okay, so let me get you caught up to speed. And something that we're gonna try to think about in this video, you and me, you and me, we're gonna think about is there's this misconception about depression. And I'm, I, I have more videos planned about this where we get this idea that it's like this chemical imbalance, you probably need meds and this is the only way to improve and if the meds don't work, you're not gonna stop being depressed. And this is absolutely wrong. There are so many things that we're getting input into our minds and then the way our mind is processing stuff that is fueling our depression. And I think what's going on with Eugenia Cooney is a prime example of why this is happening to so many of us. So let's rewind. Let's share the little story about Eugenia Cooney. All right. So Eugenia Cooney is a pretty big creator on this platform. And for a while now, she's been struggling with an eating disorder. And this all kind of got even bigger earlier this year. All right. Um, and there were so many videos, like all the time, there were videos about Eugenia Cooney, uh, just about being worried about her and everything like that. O Onision was doing his thing, but uh, when things kind of got really bad after her Kingdom Hearts cosplay, there was even more concern about Eugenia Cooney. Like, I remember this video, and I'll put a screenshot or link it or something like that. It was a young woman who had struggled with an eating disorder before, and she was basically saying like, hey, Eugenia Cooney is gonna die, and we all gotta be okay with that. And I'm like, damn. Like for me, I, I never lose hope. I never lose hope for anybody. And one of the reasons why is because I'm a recovering drug addict and alcoholic, and seven years ago, I had a 10% chance of living, and I did not wanna live. Like the doctors told me, they said, listen, if you get sober, if you quit doing drugs and drinking, you're probably only gonna live for another year. And I'm like, dope, but look at me now, seven years later. So I, um, working in a drug and alcohol treatment center, I have met people who have relapsed a dozen times and were able to get sober. So I never lose hope on anybody, all right? But yeah, like I said, there were videos about like, hey, Eugenia Cooney's gonna die, right? And then Eugenia Cooney kind of went off the grid for a little bit. Uh, turns out she was getting help, she was getting treatment, and she ended up making her comeback with none other than Shane Dawson. And Shane Dawson sat down, he did his thing, he talked with her, and she opened up about her eating disorder and recovery and everything like that. And around that time, what else happened was Jacqueline Glenn, uh, a friend or former friend of Eugenia Cooney, she told the other side of that story. And we haven't really heard any follow-ups for that. Like there was a lot of a lot of news around that. I think even Philip DeFranco covered it. But anyways, Jacqueline Glenn was talking about how they had to like have an intervention for Eugenia Cooney and like forcefully get her into treatment. Uh, there was a lot of stuff going on with Eugenia Cooney's mom and everything like that. And Jacqueline Glenn was freaking out and she was like, Eugenia is still in a bad situation. And I covered some of that when it was going on. I don't think Jacqueline Glenn's heart was in the wrong place or anything like that. But as friends, as you know, loved ones, as someone who's struggling, we get concerned, we get worried, right? Like I've seen many people who get sober and leave treatment and they go back to a bad environment, okay? But anyways, all of that stuff happened. All of that stuff happened. And now it's months later and nobody is talking about Eugenia Cooney. So since then, Eugenia Cooney uh, has been, you know, just, 
putting out inspirational and motivational stuff on Twitter all the time. Uh, I, I really enjoy watching her, her tweet because she like retweets like fans and she goes to Disneyland every other day and like people run into her and she like takes pictures with them and she retweets them and everything like that. Like it is awesome. But aside from that, she's also tweeting out things for like anybody out there who's struggling, whether it's mental health issues or just a rough patch in your life. Like Eugenia is out there telling you, keep moving forward, do not give up keep doing the damn thing, right? Like, it's amazing. But again, nobody is talking about Eugenia Cooney. So, circling back, like, how, how is this relevant to me and you? Me and you, right? When we're talking about mental health and depression and everything like that, like, here's, here's something that we all need to recognize. Like, we all have this negative bias where we are just magnets to the negative right? We would rather hear about the negative than the positive. And here's the thing, news organizations, like I'm not just even talking about YouTube now, like major news organizations, they know that. The drama channels and commentary channels you're watching on YouTube, they know that, right? Like imagine, imagine your favorite drama channel, right? Imagine your favorite drama channel making a video saying, Eugenia Cooney's doing awesome, right? How many clicks would that get? How many views would that get? No, we want the tea, we want the gossip and everything like that. But I want you to sit back and ask yourself real quick. Is that one of the reasons that you're depressed? Is that one of the reasons that you're anxious because you would rather watch those things? We have to realize it's a supply and demand thing, all right? If videos that were highlighting people's successes were doing amazing on this platform, more people would do it, more creators would do that. And that's one of the reasons I'm trying to switch things up. But let's dive into the evolutionary psychology about why we focus on the negative more than the positive. And the number one reason for a lot of the reasons that our brain is so freaking nuts is because it helped us survive. Back in the day, it helped us survive. So people who were able to spot the negative more prominently than the positive, we're able to pass along their genes, right? People who are worried, people who were able to see problems with situations, they survived, okay, and they pass along their genes. But now, we're living in 2019, and we don't need to focus on the negative nearly as much. We don't gotta worry about a saber-toothed saber tiger jumping out and slaughtering us. You know what I mean? Like, we don't have to focus on the negative so, so, so much. So, what's the solution? Okay, what is the solution? I'm gonna tell you some things that I've been doing recently that have helped me out, and if you wanna try them, go for it. All right, but this is something that I recognize. So one thing is, is I cleaned up my YouTube feed. And for me, it's different than other people because I'm a YouTuber and I'm trying to do more, you know, uh, uh, videos, uh, and it's kind of like crazy because there's a video where I use Eugenia Cooney in the title, but I'm trying to get back to doing more videos that are just purely mental health, right? But anyways, I find topics that are trending, right, where it gives me the opportunity to talk about mental health topics. But I've cleaned up my subscription feed and I've unsubscribed from a lot of channels. And this is the theme for the rest of the video, right? I've been really asking myself when I look at things, I've been very like mindful and intentional about things. I'm like, is this providing me value, right? How is this providing me value? How is this thing making my life better, right? So I've unsubscribed from a lot of drama channels and a lot of commentary channels. Some of them are even friends. Uh, some of them I'm still subscribed to, but I haven't been watching their videos, right? Because here's the thing, like, most of us are subscribed to drama channels, commentary channels, and we need to recognize, like whenever a topic happens, like everybody's covering it. Like you watch, like when something negative happens, you watch five or six videos on it. I did a, a poll a long time ago and I asked you guys, I said, how many videos do you watch on a specific topic? And the average was about four or five, right? So we watch something about a negative topic and then we watch it again and again and again, just from different people all saying the same thing. Like, does it start to click why we're so negative and why we're so bummed out all the time or even angry all the time? Because most of the channels out there, they are invoking the emotion of anger. So I've cleaned up my YouTube subscription feed. Mainly what I watch on YouTube now is things that make me laugh, uh, they're entertaining or they're educational, you know, whatever it is. Um, but the next thing I did was I've been cleaning up my Twitter feed, like 
crazy. And again, it's difficult for me as a creator because I'm trying to keep an eye on different topics so I can create. So for you, it might be even easier. But again, when I'm going through my Twitter feed, I'm looking at people and I'm like, is this person providing me value? Are they helping me become a better person? Are they, are they tweeting things that are improving my life? And if the answer is no, I have been unfollowing so many people, just so many people, right? I'm like, this person is always, you know, beefing on Twitter or they're always um, talking about negative things or whatever it is. And I've been unfollowing them. But I, I personally, just because it's part of my job, you know, to follow like the news and what's going on, like it's kind of this balance. But again, this is for all of you. I just want you guys to start thinking about this. Like I said, like nobody's talking about Eugenia Cooney now, right? And she's doing awesome. She's kicking ass. You know, so take a look at who you're following on YouTube, who you're following on Twitter, who you're following on Instagram, who you're following on Facebook, right? Like, are they bringing value to your life? Are they helping you see more positive things than negative things? Because we're kind of brainwashing ourselves by only following the negative stuff. You know what I mean? But anyways, I'm gonna try to do more videos like this and highlight the awesome things. Like I'll link a video down in the um, pinned comment in the description below. I did a video the other day about uh, Jenna Marbles and uh, Julian um, that I think was pretty positive. And I think we need to start doing that more. So I'm gonna try to do that more if you have any other suggestions or just hit me up on Twitter or Instagram. If you see somebody doing something positive and awesome, just hit me up, let me know. Let me know in the comment section, all right? I'll try to highlight that and talk about what we can learn from that. Because like I say all the time at the intro of my videos, we learn from the mistakes and the successes of people, all right? So if there are people who are succeeding and doing awesome, like let's take a look at that together and see what we can learn to improve our mental and emotional well-being. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody who supports the channel over on Patreon. Some of you have noticed my little Rewired Soul hoodie and you're like, Chris, where'd you get that? It's in my merch store, all right? Tristan designed this logo and everything like that. So check out the merch store. There's hoodies, there's shirts and everything like that. Um, and if you have any requests, like if there's not a certain color or size or style, just hit me up, I'll toss it in the store. All right, but anyways, again, that's all I got for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.